What if I told you that Stellar and Ripple have a secret crypto child? For those of you who have been with us this past week, these graphics here might ring a bell. Well, there are even more layers of this rabbit hole hidden in plain sight. So today, we are going to peek behind the curtain of Stronghold SHX, its co-founder Tammy Camp, and reveal evidence that suggests that Stellar, Ripple, and possibly Elon Musk are planning to use Stronghold SHX to transform the $80 trillion ACH network. I've been covering Stronghold SHX for over 18 months, and in that time, its valuation has risen by over 30x. So make sure you subscribe so you never miss out on our videos. Let's go. Make sure you subscribe to Crypto Canvas. I got tapped um, by uh, Jed McCaleb, who is the uh, creator of Ripple and Stellar. And I was the first head of growth of, at Stellar. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get straight into it because we have a lot to unpack. We're going to be talking about Miss Tammy Camp, one of the co-founders of Stronghold. We've been going down this rabbit hole for the past week going all the way back to 2012 with Jeb McCaleb and Ripple, and then Stellar and the connections to IBM, then pivoted to Sean Bennett, his connections to Ripple, and the fact that Ripple itself, Ripple Labs, invested in Stronghold. If you missed those videos, the link is in the description. You want to be up to speed because today we're going even deeper. And yes, you see Mr. Elon Musk on the screen. You might be wondering why he's there. We're going to get to it. So, we're going to start all the way back at the beginning because Tammy Camp learned computer coding at the age of six and evolved into a technological geek. This is an interactive document, so you guys will be able to click this and get those receipts. So right here, it says Tammy Camp is the youngest daughter of James Edward Camp III, a United States intelligence officer. Tammy was no stranger to working with a computer and learned her way around the internet by utilizing a Commodore 64 that her father had purchased when she was a child. A remarkable child, Tammy learned coding at the tender age of six and evolved into a technological geek. Growing up in rural Alabama, I was lucky to be on the internet long before most homes had computers. Access to technology thanks to my dad, who had been a U.S. Army intelligence officer, made all the difference for me. Now, next, I also wanted to talk a bit about her time at Georgia State University because this is very interesting. She designed a graduate course at Georgia State, and then she took that course. So that's very interesting. I've never heard of something like that before. Now. She became a serial entrepreneur in the tech world in 2001, launching internet retail services. Now, next is where things really get interesting. And I want you guys to pay attention to this because Singularity University is going to come back into the picture as it relates to Elon Musk and the founder of Singularity University. But she went to Singularity University in 2011, and this is actually where she learned about crypto from the co-inventor of cryptography. I went to this program called Singularity University, which is a, a program that teaches, you know, there was 80 of us that got accepted into this program. It was a think tank. One of the one of the the, the professors, if you will, his name was Ralph Merkel. And he was teaching us about uh, Bitcoin and uh, cryptography and Ralph Merkel is um, it, within crypto is actually quite popular because uh, of Ethereum. You know, if you hear of Merkle trees, that is the Merkle trees that Vitalik named after this very guy, Ralph Merkel. So not only did Tammy Camp learn how to code at the age of six, design and take her own graduate course, become a serial technology entrepreneur in 2001, get accepted to Singularity University, which is connected to Elon, but then she learns about crypto from the co-inventor of cryptography. I mean, that's why we've been covering Stronghold for so long, because the people behind it are just on another level right? And so I really appreciate you guys who are hitting that like button and helping get this information out about the pioneers of the new financial system are up to and who they even are, because most people do not know this information. Now, in 2012, after her time at Singularity University, Tammy Camp went to Walmart Labs, which is Walmart's technology division. Now, to help us keep our culture of innovation strong, we created at Walmart Labs which will serve as a hub 
for new technology development and staying out in front of the growth in social and mobile commerce. She became the demand generation product manager and business development consultant. So pretty impressive. Now after that, actually the same year, 2012, she launched her own company called Action Factory. And you'll see Google, Microsoft, and AOL on the screen. And the reason why is if we click 2012, it'll take us to the LinkedIn of Action Factory. It says Action Factory is building the solutions to the problems faced by publishers. We are the future of publishing. This platform automates the import and displays data from over 15 major ad tech partners, including Google, AOL, and Microsoft. So not too shabby if you ask me. Now, in 2013, the very next year, she began mining cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin, Litecoin, and Doge. So what happened was that I started building Bitcoin miners um, and Litecoin miners and Dogecoin miners and programming them to mining pools in 2013. Dogecoin was really, you know, kind of taking off at that point in 2013. Now, there was somebody who had the software on Twitter where, you know, you could, there was a tip, it was a tipping Dogecoin bot. Um, and so funny enough, I was, you know, kind of playing around with it because I had a lot of Dogecoin at that, at that point. And, um, you know, I became one of the largest tippers on, on, on Twitter with Dogecoin because it was just so much fun. You know, I was thought I was like getting everybody into crypto. And so Tammy Camp was mining Dogecoin in 2013 and giving it out on Twitter. Very interesting. Now, from our previous video, right, we covered this already. Jeb McCaleb co-founded Ripple and XRP in 2012, and then he co-founded Stellar in 2014. And when he did that, he handpicked Tammy Camp as the first head of growth at Stellar. But when we click on this link here, it's going to take us to a video about the very unknown origin stories of Stellar itself and Tammy Camp's involvement in it. It's very interesting. And by the way, guys, you can get your hands on this research document. I'm going to be emailing it out to our free newsletter. Link is in the description. I'll never sell your information. Just want to get this research out to you guys. Um, but check out this video. It's very fascinating. You know, the Jed McCaleb is actually the, the, the inventor of Ripple. Um, and he was starting something, you know, he was kind of peeling off from Ripple and starting something of his own. And it was at that time, it was Jed's secret Bitcoin project. You know, they call me in and they're like, come to our offices. And I'm like, where is it? And it was in this car garage in, in the mission here in San Francisco, you know, an auto repair shop. So I'm going up to this auto repair shop and I'm meeting with them and I'm like, this is, this is like very interesting and and at that point they're like oh okay i i really like the work that you've done you know on twitter why don't you come and be our first head of growth hmm i find it super interesting that stellar xlm was considered jeb mccaleb's secret hidden project right he founded ripple and xrp and was working on stellar in the background and since then stellar still seems to be under the radar so something's going on with stellar and i want to know so after Tammy Camp became the head of growth at Stellar, she saw massive success in that role. We put on, um, I think, 4 million users there um, in a little over four months. And, and at that point, that was a lot of usage. So after Tammy's wild success at Stellar, she split off and founded Stronghold, right, which she co-founded with Sean Bennett, who was one of the first Ripple gateways for stablecoins in 2013 on the XRP ledger. And he was the very first developer on Stellar. And Stronghold is targeting the largest financial network in the United States, right? $80 trillion a year. And Stronghold is based out of San Francisco, a mile away from Stellar, which is a mile away from Ripple. And San Francisco is also the home of where the ACH network was invented by banks in 1972. So, Something's going on here. And now we're going to pivot back to Elon because for those of you guys who were paying attention, when I was talking about Singularity University earlier in the video, I left a very big clue about Elon's connections to Stronghold, Stellar, and Ripple and Tammy Camp in particular. And we're going to unpack that even more in the next video. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. Make sure you subscribe to Crypto Canvas.